Hello everyone, in this video I want to cover why it is so important to stay positive about failing in Apex Legends. And this, honestly, will apply to any game that you're playing or or even real life. <laughs> but I mean, that's up to you however you want to take this uh, advice. So, why I think it's so important, and this is just my opinion, why it's so important to stay positive about your failures got three reasons for you. One other thing I want to point out real quick before we get into the video, and I just noticed this while I was editing. I want to make it very clear. I am speaking from experience of myself being like this as well. Not just other people. Like I have noticed myself failing and then doing any one of these uh, three points that you will see uh, coming through the video. So make sure to stick around for these three points and I can relate heavily to these points that I'm trying to make from past experience and I'm trying to be positive moving forward. First reason is because if you're staying positive about your failures and you're willing to learn from your failures, I honestly think it is one of the fastest ways to get better at a game. So if you have a couple friends and they're kicking your butt at Apex Legends right now, Every single time that you die in a match, stay positive and look at what could I have done and how can I do better next time and then enjoy that engagement. Enjoy all the people that you were surrounded by and you were fighting against and how intense it was and all the grenades being thrown and you got stuck with an arc star and you blew up your teammate and how instead of making you upset, it actually was really funny and was a good time. So if you just stay positive about it and look at every single failure as an opportunity for you to become better at the game and constantly, constantly just trying to learn from those mistakes, you will start to see yourself just blow up and become so much better. And all of a sudden your friends will probably be like, dude, like where'd you come from? <laughs> Like you were so bad and you haven't played close to as much as I have, but all of a sudden you're getting way better. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just try to learn from your mistakes and stay positive about it. The second reason you want to stay positive about failure in Apex Legends is something I just slightly mentioned in the first point, and that is ruining the game. So if you're not staying positive about you failing every single time you like die, for example, or you loot your squad, your whole squad gets wiped and then you lose the match. If you're not staying positive about it and start becoming negative, all of a sudden, every single time you lose or every single time you die or you miss a shot, it's like the game becomes less and less fun. You're not having fun anymore. It's no longer, as I said before, it's no longer fun when you get stuck by an arc star and then you blow up your teammate. That isn't funny anymore. All of a sudden you start to rage and you start to get so mad that that person was able to hit you and you'll start blaming things and saying like, oh, how could it, it was leg. It was leg that I happened to run into that arc star and that arc star was nowhere close to me. Or when you're aiming at someone and you miss the shot or someone's aiming at you and you're like, how did they hit me? Must have been an aimbot, which sometimes there are aimbots. I actually have recorded footage of an aimbot that killed me, but I thought it was actually pretty darn cool. I was like, I've never seen that before. Okay. <laughs> anyway, back to what I'm saying. You got to stay positive about these things because if you stay positive, you'll notice that you'll start to really enjoy all aspects of the game, even when you're losing. So you'll be in these intense engagements, right? And say you start attacking this team and then another team comes up behind you and all of a sudden you're squished and then you start trying to get out of there and then all of a sudden here comes a third team and maybe even a fourth team from over here and everyone, it's just like one huge massive ball of chaos and it's insane and you hear grenades blowing up everywhere and shots being fired everywhere and it's really fun. It's like super fun like that this is happening and this is in Apex Legends and the game's great. But then instead you have this attitude of like, darn it, we were the last, we were like squad six, only six squads total left and now we died or now we got stuck in this engagement and one or two of our teammates died and now it's just me and oh this is no more fun and then you die and all of a sudden the whole squad gets wiped right regardless uh somehow you lose right and then squads wiped you're gone game's over you lost your streak of three top five matches or whatever or you had two wins in a row and then you're about to get a third win and then you don't. And instead of it being really fun that there was all of this chaos and all of this crazy cool stuff that's happening and like 
everyone just engaging in different directions instead of enjoying that and looking at like wow it's crazy that this can happen you're looking at all the bad things about it like oh my goodness like why why were we there why did we push that team and it was terrible i had no fun i hate this game and you start saying things like i hate this game or over i hate this gun or i hate this legend i blah 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 you start thinking of all these things why you're so upset at the game and then i've noticed with a lot of people uh, it, not just random people but like my friends who i i play with and i'm not singling any person out like this happens to a majority of people i see instead of if you're not looking at the fun side of the game then all of a sudden you just start blaming the game for being bad and then the game gets a bad reputation for you and then you start talking about this to your friends and then your opinions start to like plant seeds in your friends brains and then they start to become negative about the game too and it's just this like really bad ripple effect that you just don't want to make happen so you're just creating a bad uh atmosphere essentially which kind of uh rolls over into my third and final point and that is creating like a toxic atmosphere when you're being negative so you're creating this ripple effect right and then all of a sudden all these other people are bad are having like bad opinions and bad feelings about the game when they start losing and then they start talking to all of their friends and then you can see how it just like multiplies and escalates very quickly and becomes such a bad thing and it really doesn't have to be. Whereas if you like, you just stayed positive and were like, oh, that was great. That was great when I shot this, per I headshot that guy, but then all of a sudden I got headshot out of nowhere and I lost, whatever, it doesn't matter. It was crazy how simultaneously that happened. You know, just any type of uh, engagement you can think of or any type of leg spike, like for example, if there's leg in the game and it does something crazy to your character instead of looking at it as like, wow, why is Respawn so terrible at updating the game? You could be like, huh, that was pretty funny. Uh, this should be something, I wish I would have recorded that so I could add it to those uh, funny mess up videos that are posted on YouTube often, you know? And then you start to like enjoy playing the game more and have a great time instead of looking at like what the game used to be or how you used to have fun playing the game, but you hate it now because it's just got ruined and you start to generate all these ideas about it. Okay, and then also, um, back to uh, creating that toxic atmosphere. Uh, one of the things that I think you really want to avoid with this third point especially is uh, you got to stay positive because otherwise I notice people will start to blame other people for when they lose, like especially your teammates or your friends. So that that's like not where you want to go. And yes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes your teammate may have, you know, not taken out someone that was flanking you and you are focused on someone else, right? And you really, you really wanted that your teammate to cover you, but he failed or she failed to do that. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, come on, Mark, or come on, Darla. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just grabbing names here. Oh, why the heck did you not cover me there? I'm so mad at you. And by the way, they're not going to be talking like this. They're going to be talking like, depending on who your friends are, they might be swearing at you or they might just be yelling at you or maybe they just might start to ignore you or they might become passive aggressive. Who knows? But the thing is that when you start to become toxic and you start blaming the people around you, then you're really creating this toxic atmosphere, right? And then you're starting to make all the people around you not have a good time anymore. So aside from that ripple effect I talked about before, this is like the immediate people that you're playing with. And so you have a party of three, right? In Apex Legends. And then you're all of a sudden having a really bad time and you start blaming your friends who are playing with you for the reason you're losing instead of looking at your own failures and what you could have done right and how you could have improved or why you your team failed because of you. Um, instead of looking at yourself, you're looking at blaming your teammates and you're pointing the finger at them, right? And when you start pointing the finger at them, they are gonna start pointing the finger back at you. There's that, right? And then also they're just going to start to become upset at you. Not only are they going to blame you, but they're going to become upset at you because they're like, dude, this is just a game. Like, why are you getting mad at me? I thought we were supposed to be hanging out, having a good time. And now all of a sudden you're blaming me for things that I'm doing wrong. And you just get, you start like little mini fights, right? And then 
You don't want to start fights because that can escalate to something so much worse when you're just playing a game. And okay, fine. You want to be competitive. That's that's totally understandable too. But even with uh, being competitive, I think the best way uh, with failure to improve for your whole team is one, as I've already said a bunch of times, look at yourself. How can I improve? And then uh, two, you can give constructive criticism. So I have uh, one one friend who, well, I've got quite a few friends who are good about this, but one friend in particular who's very good and he's played a ton at the game. He's very good at the game and he gives a ton of constructive criticism. Instead of being like super mad and upset all the time, he's always just like, you know, you could you could use this gun in this way instead, or you could you know push more often or be more aggressive with the team. You know, like you got you should start doing it this way, right? Instead of being aggressive, like dude, you're doing terrible, and like it, you suck at this game. Instead of saying things like that, it's a lot more constructive, and I think that is a really positive way to go about it and how you should be with your friends, it, because you want to keep those friends, right? And even. Even if you guys can get mad at each other and then you're fine the next day, like these things kind of add up over time. So you don't want to do that. You just kind of want to, you know, have you know positive vibes, right? So it, give if you do want to give criticism, make sure to look at yourself first. But if you do see how your teammates can improve in some way, give that constructive criticism and be nice about it. Don't be mean and try to say when you're talking to them, I'm not trying to be mean when I'm saying this. But if you're yelling at them and you're saying, I'm not trying to be mean, okay, you might be, <laughs> you might not be sending the right, you might be sending mixed signals there. So got to be careful about that. Anyway, those are my three points. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching everyone. Make sure to subscribe when you see more videos like this. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. This is a little bit different video. So I want to know your opinions. Post them in the comment section and uh, I will see you all in the next one.